Hi guys, wanted to go ahead and do a quick video to show you guys how I make my pancakes. So let me go ahead and show you. I just made one and I was doing a live video on YouTube. So now I'm going to go ahead and do it um, on here on live so you guys can check it out. So this is a healthier version of a pancake. So let me go ahead and show you how they come out. Um, I'll show you the batter first. This is the batter right here. I used my magic bullet. Let me go ahead and lower this thing a little bit. Okay. So these are some of the ingredients, um, oats, almond milk, buttermilk, um, I used baking powder, let me not forget that, I used a baking powder, which is this one right here, I used um, the vanilla, I used a banana, I used one egg, and... I think that's it and then I'm gonna go ahead and show you how I cook it so okay so here we go um, so let me go ahead and add some coconut oil you guys have seen the coconut oil I use which is this one right here from spectrum it's raw organic coconut oil and make sure you get all the edges Let me show you the batter, how it came out. It's pretty thick because of the baking powder. I have enough to make like one more after this one. So to this, I'm gonna go ahead and add some chocolate chips and some pecans to it. 10 to 15 of the chocolate chips just depends how chocolate you want it it is healthier because you're using um, healthier ingredients you're not using like flour and sugar or you know stuff like that so you can add as many chocolate chips as you want I'm gonna add more pecans so these are the pe pecans that I'm using, they're from Hill Country, and then I'm using these from Nestle. They're the semi-sweet. I also have others in my in my fridge, but um, you can use whichever one you want. Dark chocolate would make it a little bit more bitter, but it would still be really good. Um, so yeah, so you can see with the baking powder, it actually fluff, fluffs up really, really nicely. I did another one without the baking powder and it comes out flatter. And this one doesn't have chocolate chips or any pecans. So yeah, this is how this one came out. It's pretty flat, but if you see um, this one, it's a, it's a little bit fluffier. You can see how fluffy it is. And they're really, really yummy. So I wanted to show you how I made them. The baking powder really does make the difference. And it has really healthy ingredients. The banana, the almond milk, um, the buttermilk is not the best, but you know, we got some vanilla in there. Um, we used oats, so yeah. Let's see, I think this is ready to turn. Mm. Now you don't have to press it down. Usually I do just to make sure it cooked. All the way through since it is fluffier but you don't have to do that oh and it also has cinnamon in there it has cinnamon I forgot to show you I'll show you all the ingredients right now um, that I used <coughs> I put everything together so I don't forget I need to show you guys you're going to need a magic bullet or some kind of a blender to to mix it all up. So you can squish it a little bit from the sides if you want to just to make sure it cooked all the way through. These are really good. I really do like these a lot. You can flip it one more time. So this is what it looks like from the back. 
I turned it a little bit too much. I really don't like to squish them because I like them to be fluffy, but I'm just trying to make sure it cooks all the way through. So this is our pancake. It looks really good. So I'm going to do one more because I have batter for one more. And I'm going to add some coconut oil. And coconut oil is really, really good for you, so... Go ahead and get another pancake out of this. Because it is oats, it kind of sticks at the back, so you want to make sure you take all of it out. Let me go ahead and add the chocolate chips on here. You can do about 10 or 15 of them, or less, however you want. You can see how fluffy it is because it sinks all the way down. And let's add some you can add almonds if you want. I did and it was really good yesterday, but I wanted to use the pecans today. So this is what they look like. They're nice and fluffy. Look. Nice and fluffy when you use the baking powder. When you don't use the baking powder, they end up being kind of flat like this, which is still fine. It's still good, but I like the fluffiness to it. So these are some of the ingredients. While that's cooking, I'm going to show you. So I cook it with coconut oil, which is this one right here. And then I use this buttermilk, which is from H-E-B. I used this um, baking powder, just like, um, what was it, like one teaspoon? And then, or half a tablespoon, however you want, depending how fluffy you want it. And then here's the vanilla extract I used, even though the almond milk already has some in there. I used cinnamon. I used pecans. I used Hershey's. You don't have to add those, but I did. Um, I used one banana. And I used oats. So, yeah. I'm going to turn this pancake now. Let's see how pretty it looks. <clears throat> Let me go ahead and get some butter and a little bit of... You don't really need to add um, any syrup to it, really, so it's already sweet. But I'm going to, just to show you, I'm gonna try to find some butter in here. You know, I would recommend you getting the, I can't believe it's not butter, um, but I don't have that one right now. So you can skip the butter if you don't want it. <laughs> 